I think for a lot of us, one of the best aspects that the Google Chrome browser, I don't know if they necessarily invented this, but they definitely popularized it, is the concept of extensions. You can download literally thousands and thousands of extensions into your browser. It's going to augment what your browser can do. I use several of them every day. They are extremely useful. Now, unfortunately, if you are using the Chrome web browser on your mobile device, you don't have access to those extensions. Now, there's lots of reasons why that may be the case, and indeed there are some smaller browsers that are rolling out extension support. Some of them are basically Chrome, right? So Kiwi, very, very similar. I think Firefox is actually rolling out extensions now. But there is another option that maybe some of you are actually using on your home computer, something that's going to sync with the mobile version of the browser, and it has finally began to test and roll out a handful of extensions that you can now enable. Yes, I'm talking about Microsoft Edge. For those that haven't tried Edge, I think it's actually extremely underrated. If you're thinking this is just the next version of Internet Explorer and it's worth just wholesale ignoring, you're probably going to be in for a little bit of a surprise because, like I said, it's actually quite good. The first thing you're going to do to start using extensions on your phone with the Edge browser is jump over to the Google Play Store and we're going to install Microsoft Edge Canary. So this is not even the beta version, it's before the beta. This is in very early testing, but it should sort of move downstream towards the stable release. Once that is done, we can open this thing up and we're going to go to a particular web page. Edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. At that point, there's a search bar up top. You can click on that, type in extensions, and you will see Android extension here pop up. We're going to tick this and go to enabled. It should ask you to restart the web browser at that point. Once that is done, depending on if you're on a tablet device like I am here, or if you are using a normal phone, there's going to be some dots down here or some bars up here. It's the same thing. Click on whichever one you have, and you will see extensions down here in your menu. If you click on this, you will see you have access to, it looks like three different extensions that they are testing. Now the good news is two of these are potentially great extensions. So Dark Reader is awesome. It's one that's going to basically give every website a dark mode. I highly recommend it. I use it on all of my devices. And then of course, uBlock Origin, this is pretty straightforward, it is an ad blocker. Now there is an ad blocker already built in to Edge, but it's not quite as good as a full-fledged one like uBlock. Now I would like to definitely advise you that people like myself make most of their income from ad revenue. So don't just enable this on every single website, right? Try and be smart about how you're doing this, and especially if it's a website that you wanna financially support, don't use the ad blocker if you can. We all understand, though, there are websites on mobile in particular that are almost completely unusable without an ad blocker of some sort. I get it. I understand. Just be aware that ad blockers can do a little bit of damage. So here is the Dark Raider page. Looks like it opened it up twice for some reason. So I just jumped over to Google News because I knew that this would need a dark mode. This is obviously bright white. And if we go into our extension, I've actually disabled it. So this is the opposite of what you'd want to do. Here are your settings. We'll turn that back on. And now we have a very nice looking dark mode for this website. Pretty cool. Now for the ad blocker, pretty similar affair. We jump into our extensions and make sure that it's turned on. This will turn it off or on for particular websites. If we go ahead and refresh, that advertisement is now completely gone. Now normally you're able to like right click and block individual aspects of a website. I don't think you can do that on the mobile version or if you can, I don't know how you do that quite yet. Maybe you can jump into the extension itself and do this. Will this actually function? I'm not thinking that it does. Actually, maybe it does. Okay, there you go. So you can actually create that and now that is actually gone as well. So that's pretty cool. This is working honestly better than I was expecting it to be working because, you know, like I said, these things are made for your computer, not necessarily for a mobile device, but they appear to be working pretty darn well, guys. So there you go. If you want to try out Edge and, you know, maybe you're an Edge user already and you like that sync from your desktop to your phone, but you want to have those extensions, maybe you're like me and you just absolutely love having Dark Reader on your devices of all sorts, 
that is now a great option there for you to use. I would love to hear what browser are you using on your primary mobile device? Are you still using Chrome? Have you moved to Firefox, to Kiwi, to Samsung internet? What is your browser of choice? Give a recommendation down below and tell us why. Does it have extension support? What is it that drew you to that browser? I think we would all benefit from that conversation. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.